A speaker is a device that produces sound. Now this sound can be anything from a single note or a chord to a complex piece of music. But how do they work? Well, if we take a closer look at a loudspeaker generating a low frequency tone, we can physically see this part move up and down. So this conical shape is something called the speaker cone or the speaker diaphragm, and its job is to physically push and pull the air or other medium around it, and this creates vibrations. Now these vibrations travel outwards through the medium, and if they're detected by an ear, the brain then converts that signal into sound. But how do we get the speaker cone to move up and down? Well, we use a principle called electromagnetism, and let me show you how it works. Firstly, if we take a length of wire and pass a current through it, Ampere's law states that a magnetic field is induced and this magnetic field curls around the wire. We can determine directionality using the right hand grip rule. So if we point our thumb in the direction of current flow, our fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Now if we take that wire and wrap it into a coil, a magnetic field will still be induced, but this time it will be strongest inside the coil. Again, we can use the right hand grip rule to determine directions. So this time if I wrap my fingers in the direction of current flow through the coil, my thumb will be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field. So if the current flow is anti-clockwise, the resulting magnetic field will be pointing upwards, and if the current flow is clockwise, the magnetic field will be pointing downwards. Now if we pass an alternating current through the coil, in the positive phase of the cycle the current will flow in one direction, and in the negative phase of the cycle the current will flow in the opposite direction. This means that we'll get an oscillating magnetic field which switches as the current changes polarity. Now if we let the oscillating magnetic field interact with a permanent magnet, we will see that the coil physically moves up or down depending on whether it's attracted or repelled. This is where the diaphragm comes in. If we clamp a diaphragm to that movement, this will increase the volume of air that's agitated to increase the sound signal. These are the principles that we will use to make our own loudspeakers using this loudspeaker kit. So this kit contains everything that you'll need to create 10 different speakers. So inside we have got 10 washers, a spool of enameled copper wire, a cable to connect to a stereo, uh, 10 plastic speaker bases, and 10 neodymium magnets. The other stuff you're gonna need to make the speakers include a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, um, a 20 to 25 millimeter rod, something a bit like this, to use as a former for wrapping your uh, wire coil, a pair of wire cutters, a pen, some sandpaper, and some sellotape. So the first thing we need to do is take a speaker base and we are going to put a magnet in the well on the top of the base. And then we're gonna secure it in place using a washer. The next thing we need to do is take a piece of paper, put the speaker, uh, put the speaker base face down on the piece of paper and draw around it. We are then gonna cut this out and this is gonna be our speaker diaphragm. So the neater you cut this out, the better it's gonna fit the top of the speaker base. So once that's cut out, we can secure it in place using some tape. And the last thing we need to do now is make our wire coil. So I'm going to take this rod, which has a diameter of 20 millimeters, and I'm going to wrap some of this wire around it. Now we need to make sure that we've got about 100 turns of wire on the rod and leave 10 centimeters extra on either side of the coil for the tails. So if we do the maths, we can work out that we're going to need just under six and a half meters of wire. Take care to make sure that the wire doesn't slip off the former and that you don't wind overly tightly as we will need to remove the coil from the former once complete. Once the coil has been wound, we can remove it from the former and compress it into a donut shape. Loop some of the tail through the coil to keep it in this nice tight shape. Then all we need to do is use some sandpaper to scrape the ends of the coil. We need to do this so we can remove the enamel from the wire so that we can get a good electrical connection. Now we need to take this coil to the top of the speaker, positioning it directly above the magnet. Be sure to leave the tails of the coil free so that we can connect to them. 
all that's left to do now is check to see if it works. So I am going to hook it up to this Bluetooth amplifier, connect it to my phone and stream a song through it. So there you have it. We've made a speaker that works and works pretty well from these few simple materials. All the components in this kit are reusable, so this will let you use these time and time again for a fulfilling, quick and easy science project for students of all ages. If you want to extend this investigation, you can look into the different variables of paper thickness and number of turns in the coil and see how this affects the quality of the sound. We have more experiments on the way, so be sure to subscribe.